Hello, and welcome to our video on project operations in the Dynamics 365 environment. In this video, what we're going to talk about is more the main function of the project operations module, and that is the projects. That's the main reason and the main efficiencies that you'll gain through using this system and being able to manage all of your projects through a single space in your business. So if we go into a project here, we can see again, we've touched upon this in one of the other videos, the first one in sales, and we can see that all of the information regarding the basic information of the project is all put into here. So we can see project ID, name, some of the description, who it is, uh, who the customer is, uh, their calendar template. There's tons of information to be able to be put in here, uh, as well as some of the estimates and actuals of the project itself once it has begun. Um, the other thing to note with this is that this form can be changed to capture any information you would like regarding this project specifically. We can add different fields, such as um, if you want to know who the main contact is, if you want to know uh, the stakeholders and want to have that sort of information up here on who to contact regarding the project, we can also add that to it. So one thing that we've talked about before was, again, the tasks page here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to open up a table here showing each of the different activities that's going to be related to the project here. We have a duration. We have who it's assigned to. If you want to categorize it in any way and if you wanted to change that categorization, uh, we have the percent complete, which we can talk about. Uh, we have the amount of effort that it's going to take or the estimated time to completion. Um, so this couple columns will be the actuals and estimates kind of wrapped into one. We can talk about the start and end date. We can keep going on if it depends on any other item here. Um, the schedule variance depending on what our estimates were compared to our actuals. How important is this? And then we can also add different columns related to this project and how we're going to track each of these items here if there's any other things that we need to. And so as you can see here, there's also ways to nest tasks under a specific larger parent task. So we can see we have planning activities and then we have the building permits, store design, deed reviews and material sourcing all nestled under that planning activities. So we can get as granular as need be for each of these project tasks to make sure that you're capturing the information in the best way possible. And as the project progresses, we're seeing how that's actually measuring up to our estimates and how close we are to completion on each of these line items here. The next portion of this is that we can look at the team members. So we can go in and we can see who's actually been working on this contract. We can see when they've started working on it. We can see their position name. We can see how long they've been booked for, how much of that booking time has actually been used, and uh, all the information you could want about your team here. The next thing we can talk about is the resource assignments as we go along here. And this is going to be more on the scheduling side, where we're going to see our different resources or team or products being utilized within the project. So as we can see here, we can see the resource assignments. We have the resource or the team member here and what they're actually going to be working on throughout the project and when they're going to be working on it. So as you can see here, we have four Mario Rogers, we have the plan training program. Since he is a trainer, he's starting and ending on these dates. It's going to be 12 hours that he's going to be working. So then we can look over into the space over here and then start to look at what the date is going to be and build out our resource assignment calendar, basically, and when those costs are going to come up in this project. And that's going to be for all of the different kinds of resources. So that's not only people that could be, say, if you had um, a piece of equipment that you needed as part of this project that could be added into here as well about when it needs to be there, how much it costs for it to be there and all of that information as well, like a person would be. So as we go along here, we're going to go and see the resource reconciliation page. And this is going to be your page on more on that scheduling side of things. And you're going to see here the total, the person or the resource here, and the calendar beside it. And it's just going to be the reconciliation where we're going to see how much hours are left or how many hours we are behind with each of these resources. 
and when they have been utilized here. Next, we have the estimates, which we've also talked about in our sales video. And that's again, more going to be on the starting portion of the project, where as we can see when this table loads up, the estimates are going to be, again, those tasks, those start and end dates, how much time do we expect it to be? And what is the cost of that? And then when is that cost going to accrue for the customer? The next part we have is the tracking, which is going to be the actuals and how we relate that to the estimates. So this is where we're going to track all of the different time, resources, energy, and costs associated with the project here. And now that it's loaded up, we can see again that it has very similar information, but this is again on the actual side. So we have the planning activities, which was the first step in our tasks, those larger sort of tasks that we're going to be working on. And we have a start, end date, duration, effort. And so now that we have all this information placed into the project, we can properly track at each section the estimates, the actuals, and how we're actually performing on the project and being able to all manage it in one space, all related to that project here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.